Yeah, yeah. how's everybody doing out there? Thank you for joining us on our Instagram live feed here on Vespa Americas. We're here with Sean Witherspoon, Hello. the designer of our new special edition Vespa Primavera we're super excited about. Just hit the U.S. stores, as well as Luke, who's here from round two, co-owner of the store with Sean. So uh, we're going to get into it. We're going to show you guys this new vehicle. We're going to let them talk a little bit about the collaboration here. How did you approach this collaboration differently than you approached like sneakers, Man. shoes? Yeah, all yeah, no, it was actually super different. Like I kept kind of going through my processes on how I would design like a sneaker or a t-shirt or a hat or something like that. And I started to realize, I'm like, man, like very few of these moving parts fit in with what you need to do on the scooter. You did use some of the same Yeah, I used like some cord right? I, yeah, yeah, cord rates or cord rate, which I wasn't sure if we'd be able to, you know, on the seat and stuff. So I was like, we got to do the cord rate C, we did some cord in the helmet. What inspired you to design like the, this best book? The I mean, I love color, everyone knows that. So I was trying to do as much color as I could. And so the colors I chose, these were like all the best selling colors from the past years. You know how we have what the, yeah, what the dunks, what the this LeBron, is, this is what, this the, is what the Vespa, exactly. It was every one of the best selling Vespas in one. First time I saw what the, yo, what yeah. the Vespa, man. Yeah. What do you like most about the Vespa brand? Dang, that's tough to say. Dude, I really like a lot about Vespa. It's, I think as a whole, it's just a lot of fun. So that's what we were trying to portray was when I go to another country and stuff, I'm always on a Vespa, riding around, kind of going crazy, having fun. You I've seen this, it. Yeah, you've seen it, you've been there. We have this certain level of freedom, right? You know what I mean? Like the wind's hitting you and like, you're, you know, it just feels really nice and free. So um, unbox this guy? Yeah, I mean, is that, this is it? This is time? I think so, yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Now that we have it out, why don't you like kind of tell us about like the details that make it like specifically yours? Yeah, I mean this is we did a lot of different stuff that Vespa hadn't really hadn't I hadn't seen it done on any of their vehicles before, and so it was cool that they kind of let me go for it. It's kind of like repeater pattern here on the rim. Mm -hmm. This has got to be one of my favorite parts of the entire Vespa. I love this shit so much. You know my Nike shirt, how I did the swooshes mm -hmm. all on the bottom. I have this thing for over branding. I love it. I just love the idea of taking a logo that is great and just blowing it on there as many times as you can. So I was so hyped. And then also like inspiration from this came from just like, you know, white walls on a caddy or something. Yeah. We went with like a nice thick soft corduroy, a little bit different than what I use on sneakers because um, you're not sitting on your sneakers. We oversized the Vespa on the side. If you look at another Vespa, it's about this big right there and so I was like nah we gotta make that as max as possible blow it out make it huge the chrome on the front so you can put like your bags or your basket or whatever same on the back I did all this trim white so typically this would have came chrome to match that as well as this so anything you're seeing white here would have been chrome typically I just wanted to kind of tone it down a little bit so with like a lot of the color but then also having the chrome it was like super loud in your face and by using a lot of this white I think kind of like toned it down a little bit and then tied it in with the wheels and then on this side is one of my favorite as well. So we did like that over branding repeater print and it gradually gets bigger on this side. That was something that I remember like in the meeting that and on the rims, the Vespa was like, I don't know, is this gonna work? Should we, it was just so different than what they had done and it made me feel good that they pushed that through and now we're here at the release. And yeah, like, they've been selling so and people yeah. love it, I, I love it. Cool. Yes, all I got. Well, I'll take a minute. Just all right. To ask for thank you, Luke. Thank yeah. you, Sean. Not for thank you. Uh, we're like I said, we're in uh, Sherman Oaks. This has arrived now. Uh, just before we go, I know yeah. that you and Luke were both wearing some new sweat. Oh yeah, you yeah, yeah. You can find the stuff on Vespa.com and Vespa yeah. Dealers Worldwide. You can get Luke back over here. Yes, come on, Luke. Yeah, but me, yeah, like you said, what you guys got going Vespa on Dealers you Worldwide. You can find it at any of the Vespa Dealers, probably in your city. You we also just dropped the Vespa clothing on our website, probably like two, two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. PST. So you can get all this apparel online right now. Thank you guys so much for being Thank here. You. We can't be more excited to have this. 